So as I was talking about um, doing the children's books, um, I was talking about um, Lily and the little pup named Max trying to find their way home. Um, the first book I'm doing is called The Camping Trip, and it's about Lily who... Uh, her parents decide to take her on a camping trip because she is being bullied at school. So, um, they feel that maybe taking her away from, um, taking her on a camping trip to get her away from that environment will help her. And then there's a boating accident and Lily gets lost in the woods. And that's how she gets her, starts her adventure out with a max. Um, the camera trip is done. I just have to type it and print it out. So that book is done. Um, I just have to, um, type it out, publish it. Um, I don't know when that's going to come out, but I will let you guys know on that. Um, there will be a Lily and Max series, mostly um, about Lily, um, her, the way she sees the world through her eyes, and there's a lot of stuff that's going to go on with that, so I will let you know, I will give you updates on those, um, so stay tuned for that. Um... With the Facebook page, I um, am making a safe place for people to vent, and there's no judgment. I also make making an advice column for people on there to answer any questions and address any topics. Um, basically, whatever I can't discuss on YouTube, that's where it's going. But, um, I feel that, um, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff on that page, uh, that will be addressed, um, but I would like to continue, um, with that, um, the advice column, I would like to do a little bit more on that um, because there are a lot of things that people aren't aware of that I would like to talk about, but we'll get further into that later. Um, so that is something that I'm willing to do. Um, as for talking about things with um, my husband, uh, when I lived in a group home, not a group home, but a shared living home, I um, didn't have a voice. Um, it took me a while to get used to my surroundings. When I met my husband, um, it took me a while to get used to him, and it was a while before I came out of my shell. It was a while later, a couple of years later at least, um, and everything was nice. We dated for a while, and I did start feeling more comfortable with him, and I made, it made me feel like things were good. I was finding my voice, standing up to people, even though a lot of people didn't like it. Um, they always thought I was acting out because I was voicing my opinion. They always felt like um, I was acting out for attention that things were always an issue and they were always trying to make 
things harder for him. And they were trying to make it seem like, oh, well, he's being abusive. He's doing this and that. He wasn't doing any of that. But um, it was... And then there was a lot of, of reports. And so... Uh, I was getting sick of it. There was a lot of fighting back. Um, because I was... Tired of people walking all over me. And I was tired of them making up stories or excuses about him because they couldn't control me. He was helping me find my voice. He was helping me fight back. But, um, he was making it so um, I was being heard finally. And uh, so there was a lot of um, reasons why they didn't like come because I was being more independent and I felt independent for the first time in a long time and people never really liked that about him or about how he was treating me and I have always felt like I have defend. I had to defend him a lot because they were always trying to say that he was. There was always something going on, and I've always had to defend him. And I shouldn't have to defend him, but I've had to because of the allegations towards him. I've had to defend him because. They were just not being nice, apparently. And he never did anything wrong. As the looks, um, they, um, they thought he was brainwashing me. He was not doing any of that. Um, but, um, once, um, they, um, uh, once the um, state advocate got involved and they were telling me all of the um, reports that they've been getting and, um, and a lot of uh, DHS was contacting me because they were getting reports and they were doing an investigation on some of the reports that were being made. So... Um, I did talk to them and, um, and they did explain to me, um, what was happening and when they were asking me questions, um, I um, asked them what this was all about because um, I didn't quite understand what was happening at that point because I've never had an issue with him. He, since I've been with him, I've never had any issues like that with him. So I was kind of confused on what they were talking about. So um, once they did explain um, what was happening, I told them that, um, that the reports weren't true. That um, Jason's never been abusive, verbally, physically, or otherwise. 
He's never done anything to staff. He's never... Uh, and all the allegations that they made were false. Um, so... Um, once um, it, that was cleared up, um, staff are still trying to find ways to, um, separate us, but it was not working, and I feel that, um, There was a lot going on at that point, um, and I feel that, uh, there was a lot of things and that, um, uh, I've never really shared with anybody, and that is that, uh, because of that, my marriage almost ended because uh, he couldn't deal with um, the people butting in and giving us a hard time. And so uh, my marriage almost ended because of that. Um, because of that particular person. Uh, but thankfully, it didn't end. Uh, we we actually got through it, um, thankfully. But because of that person, um, that almost happened. And nobody really knows about that. This is the first time I'm actually talking about it, uh, but yeah, it, um, the, a lot of the issues actually really took a toll on my marriage, um, so, there was a lot of stuff that happened that, um, my marriage suffered because of it, and because of those people, I may uh, talk about that in some other videos um, because um, it's a very, very difficult topic, so it may take me a while because, um, like I said, it, it is opening a lot of wounds um, and a lot of... Uh, It's triggering a lot of stuff, so if it takes me a while to work on certain topics, that's the reason why, is because this kind of brings up a lot of um, feelings that I've buried for a while, but... Um, <laughs> But it is a part of my life story, so I would like to talk a little bit about it, but it may take me a while, so, um, but, uh, anyway, <laughs> on to the next topic, um, talking about dealing with things in a healthy way, um, I would like to um, do some things um, in my next video or a few videos. Um, I'm trying to come up with something that will help us talk about dealing with things in a healthy way. Um, there are a lot of topics and a lot of things that um, do. I do think that 
we can work on, um, I'll come up with something, um, when that topic comes up again, um, and with the coping skill thing, dealing with the coping skills, um, I actually showed you, um, uh, between my last video and then, um, this, and another video, what coping skills that I use, um, and I may pull them out again to demonstrate again, um, so, um, uh, I may do that again in another video, um, and to talk about comfort levels and comfort zones because there's so many comfort levels and, um, I would like to talk about that more in another video, um, because there's so much stuff to cover, but... So my so little time in the video, so I would like to spread things out more. So um, and we'll do that. Um, and about advocating for people, um, I may do that. I may work on something for for another video to talk about that. But I'm also working on um, role plays. Um, developing role plays to help people, um, to advocate, um, like creating role plays to create a situation and help people deal with those situations is to help them advocate for themselves. Um, I'm still working on that and I'll let you know when that's coming about too. Um, I also would like to, um, um, a little bit more, I would like to change the videos up a little bit more. So I've explained a little bit about what I want to do. Um, even if it's just like my day to day routine, um, I would like to change, um, maybe doing a daily vlog or maybe doing something besides the topics I'm talking about. I want to do something fun. So, um, I may get into that a little later. So, um. And I have already given you some, a little bit of updates of, excuse me, what's going on. And I will continue to update uh, you on what's happening. Uh, but there's still a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, the Thanksgiving video that I'm doing um, is what you're thankful for, the gratitude. What does Thanksgiving mean to you? Um, what is your favorite food? Cooking something for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, what is your th what is your Thanksgiving ideas? or what is your Thanksgiving traditions? And, um, so when I do my Thanksgiving video, a lot of that's going to be on there. Um, so, and like I said, my husband will be a part of that video because, um, He's going to be helping me with Thanksgiving dinner, and I'm going to show you part of our routine when it comes to that. Um, uh, 
I may work on like some of my daily routines um, and maybe doing my um, talking about maybe some of my background. No idea. Uh, But there's like a lot of changes that I would like to talk about that in another vlog. Um, so yeah, um, like I said, hit that like button, subscribe, and um, let me know what you think of these videos. And let me know if you think if there's something you want me to talk about or if there's something you think I can do better or if there's anything that you may want me to add, um, let me know and all right, I got to end, sayonara.